Hi, I'm Celeste Dunn. Welcome to Make Yourself at Home in San Diego. I'm here at the Marston House, which was built in 1905 by William Hebbard and Irving Gill. It was one of their first collaborations and it was one of the first arts and crafts homes here in San Diego. Um, it was built for um, the Marston family. The Marstons are known for a department store chain that they ran and George Marston was one of the founders and idea ideas and money behind Balboa Park, which is right behind us. This house sits on five acres. The gardens are public property. They're managed by Soho. The house is 8,500 square feet. And you'll notice the arts and crafts details, the shingles at the top and the leaded windows, very clean lines, exposed timbers. And then the brickwork is sort of more East Coast, but, but they brought all these materials together. There's a portico share, which is a drive-through driveway. And there's the largest oak tree that I've seen in San Diego. This has got to be over 100 years old. Um, there's an arbor behind that you can have a wedding at and use for private space. So this, this neighborhood was sort of the, the spot for prominent San Diegans and this new fangled architecture, arts and crafts. In 1905, these elements were really, really um, unusual and modern. They were clean, they were coming out of the Victorian era, and they used a sense of inside and outside space in a way the Victorians never did. I mean, the gardens are ordered, but they're also random and they feel wild. And if you look into the park, just the sense, this is overlooking the 163 freeway, but the sense of open space and yard, uh, garden and views, that's what makes San Diego, San Diego is these canyons and vistas. They raised two children here and enjoyed a very nice, large civic presence. Um, there are pictures of this property with huge parties. This was a center of the universe in San Diego for a long time. It's helpful to understand how the architectural styles bring neighborhoods together. And when you're in a downtown area, most any California town, you're gonna to find houses that have these elements, this exposed timber, some brickwork, some shingles on the side, and these leaded glass windows that if you look through them from the inside, they have wavy glass. It's a very um, uh, timeless sort of sense of architecture. It was pretty much the second kind of architecture here in California. And it really makes a hometown a hometown to have architecture like this. 